now we are going to learn what an array is. And an array is basically a collection of several different variables. So let's say that we had several names, for instance, for my name, just going again, I'm going to name this Kevin, and my friend's name, which is going to be Anna, and then my dog's name, which is going to be Fluffy. And we wanted to print all of these names. And to do that right now, what we would have to do is print them one at a time because we cannot loop through these names as of now. So I'm going to print my name, and I'm going to print my friend name, and then I'm going to print my dog's name. And here, again, we are not making use of a loop so we are having to type everything each at a time so if you had a collection of 15 names here we would have to keep typing them every time so if I run this I will get an error because I didn't type the name correctly and if you rerun this we'll get Kevin, Anna and Fluffy but we just learned how to use loops so wouldn't it be better if we could somehow use a loop to iterate through all of these names. And we can do that using an array, which is a collection, again, of variables. So I'm going to create a new variable here, and it's going to be called names array. And the way you create an array is using brackets. So we can use them like this, and this is going to create an empty array, but we want to create an array that has all of these names. So we're going to use my name here, and then my friend name, and then my dog's name. And now we can actually use this array and iterate through it to print all of these names. So now we can use the for, and this is going to be current name in. And remember that I told you before that you can use the for to iterate through arrays instead of using the range. Well, now we can use in names array. So every name that we have here it's going to be passed to, to this variable right here. And here we can just print current name. And if I run this, you see that we get the same result as before, but now we are actually using an array. And we can have an array of ages, for instance. So ages array. And let's say that Kevin's age is 50 and Anna is 19 and the dog is 10 years old. And now I want you to try to iterate through the age array and print every age to the console. So I'll give you a few seconds to try that out. So you managed to get it right. It's pretty simple. All you have to do is copy this code right here. And instead of using current array, current name here, we will use current age. And here we will iterate through ages array and print the current age. And now you'll see that we have Kevin, Anna, Fluffy, 50, 19, and 10. But now what I wanted to do is actually print their name and their age at the same time, instead of having it like this. I want to have something like Kevin 50 Anna you know and so on and so forth so to do that we will actually have to get the index every item in the array has an index so the index is basically the position of that item in the array my name for instance here is going to be the index 0 my friend name is going to be index 1 and my dog's name is going to be index 2. And I can prove this to you if I print the dog's name. Plus, remember we have to convert this to a string. Or actually we don't have to because it's already a string but names array. At the index of 2, we'll get the dog's name. So if I just run this dog's name fluffy so we can use this index to get any item in the array 
and we can get the array size by using the names array dot size and this function is going to return to us the size of the array so right now the size of the names array is going to be 3 so if I just print this you see that we get 3 over there but remember the last index of this array is going to be 2 because we start at 0 but the size is 3 and now I'm going to give you a really tough task and I want you to try to iterate through every item of this array but instead of using this syntax here I want you to use the array size and the index so this is really tough and if you get this right congratulations but if not I understand it's a really tough task but please give it a try so did you manage to accomplish it if not this is how you should do it to accomplish this we are going to create a for loop and the variable is going to be the index so current index in range and it's going to be between 0 and the names array dot size and here we can print the name using names array at the current index and now if I play this we'll see all of the names twice and here you can see that we already have the index and to print the age together with the name is going to be really easy so again a third task for you try to print the age and make it show up like Kevin dash 50 and a dash 19 and fluffy dash 10 give you a few seconds to try it out so did you manage to do it this one's pretty easy what I have to do is print or actually we already have the print statement here so just plus space dash space plus the ages array at the current index and now if I play this you see that we get an error and why is that? well remember the ages array is dealing with integers so it's numbers and what we have to do is convert this to a string so we're going to use a function here and now everything should work fine and you see that we get Kevin 50 and a 19 and fluffy 10 and this is how you use arrays they have lots and lots of different applications that we can use them but just keep in mind sometimes you can use arrays to fix your problems or to solve what you're trying to solve I'll see you in the next lecture